So if you want to make a change, what you need to do is you need to get to the point of enough is enough. If you want to quit smoking for good, if you want to quit vaping for good, if you want to leave cigarettes behind, you need to get to the point of enough is enough. And the way to do that is what I call the chain of transformation. Okay, the chain of transformation is really um, six steps. All right, they're really simple. I want to run through them here so you understand it. So you understand what process you need to go through if you want to quit smoking for good, if you want to stop smoking for good. So the chain of transformation to change any behavior starts with one, noticing the behavior. All right? You can't change anything unless you can observe it and notice that you're doing it. And when I say notice it, I mean notice the internal and the external triggers. I mean notice that you're doing something throughout the day with a heightened awareness. Notice that you're actually doing something that you don't want, whether it's, um, whether it's uh, eating cream buns, whether it's smoking a cigarette. And you notice the behavior and you notice the consequences of the behavior. You, you, you're, you have this awareness that I am doing this. I'm doing this constantly. And you can see it as a pattern. So, you, so the first step is always to notice the behavior as a pattern. Okay, you can't change anything you're not aware of. Secondly, you become dissatisfied with that. Okay, that that link you've ma you're making this link now clearer between the behavior and the consequence of that behavior. I'm smoking here. I smell. I cough. Um, I'm feeling regretful. I'm not feeling confident. I'm not able to run around with my kids. I'm not. You know, I'm getting out of breath. You know, all those kind of things. I'm spending all this money, but you're starting to become dissatisfied. Thirdly, you intensify that dissatisfaction, all right? When you intensify that dissatisfaction, what happens is you'll, you'll eventually be able to link the dissatisfaction to a strong reason to change, which is the fourth step. So you start with noticing the behavior, you become dissatisfied with it, you intensify it, go, man, I'm spending all this money, all right? For example, or, you know, I'm just so out of breath, all right? Now you're going to link it to a strong reason. Okay, I don't want to be out of breath. I want to be healthy. I want to be able to be there for my grandchildren. Okay, and five, what happens automatically is once you've intensified that dissatisfaction enough and you've linked it to this strong reason, you'll get to a point of enough is enough. I'm going to make this change. There is a point. It's the, the straw that breaks the camel's back. And six, at this point, you are fully ready to engage with the process of quitting, all right? You can make any change if you go through these six steps. Notice your behavior. Two, become dissatisfied with it. Three, intensify the dissatisfaction. Four, link the dissatisfaction to a strong reason. Five, decide internally enough is enough. And six, and then fully engage with whatever process you want. If you're interested in finding out more, you can, you're very welcome to ask a question in the comments uh, of this video, or you can, um, you know, you're very welcome to drop me a line um, for a consultation. But I want you to understand that when you want to make a change, you can't just rely on willpower. You don't need willpower to, to quit smoking. It's not effective. Willpower is a function of the conscious mind, the thinking, the logical, the logical mind. To make a change, you need to go to that more deeper, intuitive, uh, unconscious, subconscious, emotional part of you, okay, that does things automatically, all right? But there's a way to kind of connect yourself to that flow and make it automatic. And that's these six steps, what I call the chain of transformation. Thank you.